So given that um, the Secretary and the National Security Advisor just said that this attack by Iran is sort of definitive, definitively escalatory in nature, I know that state, you've been telling us, the Secretary even told us that for months they've, you've been encouraging the Israelis not to respond to attacks and provocations in such a way that escalates anything further. Are, is the Secretary going to continue to to offer that same advice to the Israelis now in the wake of these missile strikes? Uh, I'll say a couple things about, about that. First, of course, Israel has the right to defend itself, as any nation does. In terms of what Israel's response will be, of course, there must be consequences for Iran for this attack. We've made clear that, that there must be consequences. Um, I'm not going to get into what those consequences uh, are today. But there are things on which we will be coordinating with our Israeli counterparts. And I think in the immediate aftermath of this attack, um, we are going to coordinate with them on what any response might be. Uh, I think it's important that we are able to defeat this attack. Uh, through successful work with Israel uh, and with our partners, and we will work with them on what a response might look like. But I'm not at the position just, you know, two and a half hours after this event occurred to offer what that might look like today. The Iranian Foreign Ministry people have said that um, now that they gave the U.S. I don't know who a heads up in advance of these missile strikes today through diplomatic channels. Is that true? That is absolutely false. We had no no kind of uh, warning from the government of Iran that they were going to launch such an attack. 